Hello there, Stationeers, and welcome back to another blinking light on Europa. That's right, it's, uh, the Dark Gods are out again tonight, and, man, that silhouette is pretty cool, huh? Uh, this is recorded just after episode 13 went live, so thank you so much for the fantastic comments and suggestions on there. Uh, people gave ideas about how to do the, uh, the, the centrifuging better with the, uh, combustion centrifuge, and I think we will absolutely switch over to it. Apparently this entire thing can be ripped out and we can just use a uh, gas for that. So once we've built the uh, the gas center, that's going to be the first thing we do. But today what I want to work on is ore sorting, smelting, and stacking. Uh, I think we're going to need a bit more space for it. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and made up some resources. We've got stacks of 50 of all sorts of things. Uh, we're going to expand out this workshop considerably today. It's going to drop the pressure in there quite a bit. And uh, in order to avoid dropping the temperature too much, I'm going to suck out quite a bit of the atmosphere. It's a bit too hot in there. It's about 36 degrees. Uh, as is all the water, uh, which is not great, and that means that the gas greenhouse is also quite hot. So I think I'll leave some European gas in here, maybe like 20 megapascal, 20 kilopascals of pressure, and that will uh, help it equalize a little bit. Hopefully, bring it under 20, because um, these machines, when they run, they do add heat to the system, and just slowly over time, the plants do as well, and it's all just adding up. And I don't have any active cooling because I'm lazy. Uh, so let's get building. Um, I'm going to jump straight to it, and uh, let's start off by airtighting this floor, I think. Okay, cool. Let's push this whole floor out by three blocks. That looks good to me. Uh, and then we just need to weld in all the other stuff. I am now using the space pack. By the way, people suggested that I use it. It's got a much better top speed. Uh, it's about twice as fast as the regular pack is. And yes, I am indeed feeling that now. I'm going to have to get used to flying around with this, because it's, uh, it's a bit less responsive. Um, we might have to up the thrust a bit, actually, I think, to make that work. Oh, my, uh, my drill's out of power. Let's just leave that over there to charge. Uh, and then we're going to go down there and dig up that gold, I think. That was uh, that was exposed by our deep miner uh, when we were still learning how it all works. And now we're veterans. Now we have the knowledge. Oh, baby, look at this. There we go. Oh, that's the good stuff. And I'm pretty much out of gold, too, so... This, is like, this might be one of the last times we have to mine. Oh, wouldn't that just be the dream? I think I'm going to have to get quite a bit more iron. Probably about another 400 iron. Uh, so I can get all my sorting stuff sorted. But other than that, we're, we're pretty much rolling. Okay, I think I've gotten 90% of the gold. Another 59 gold certainly doesn't go amiss. I, I can see it. there's a couple more little triggers somewhere, but I can't actually see the nugget. Uh, and it's very hard to fly around in this jetpack, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but thank you for the suggestion. Yes, the space pack does not have more storage. It just flies faster, which is, is very nice to see. Okay, this thing is flat again. Uh, so while that's going, why don't we go ahead and set up the walls? Um, I think I'm going to leave the space over here empty as well. Uh, although we don't, we're probably not going to need even more batteries. And if we do, we can go up, right, for a change. Let's let's actually take this over as part of the workshop. So uh, yeah, windows all the way. I know they're not as strong, strong as the frames, but I like the Hydration aesthetic of it. Critical. Oh, shut up. You're fine. And I think I'm actually going to put frames... Uh, along these back walls. How many do I have? I got... How many frames do I have? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's actually... Let's put frames all around that end. All we're doing is looking at mountain, which is a bit boring. Uh, and I think I'd actually rather have the hard points that we can mount things to. Just give us a bit of uh, versatility. And that way we could maybe dig into this mountain. Have a little... Have a little man cave in there. I do realize this does create more welding, which I'm going to struggle to do, but... Ah, uh, c'est la vie, you know? Okay, I'll leave that one open for the moment. All right, cool. The superstructure is built. I do not have enough walls, though. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might as well cover this. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty more wall panels. Uh, and then we'll need the plastic and glass to go with it, of course. How are our centrifuges doing? Ooh, 59 gold, 57 gold, 23 iron. Oh, sorry, not gold. We're talking about iron. Iron, 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 yeah, yeah, plenty, plenty to go around there, and there's a bunch stacked up in the line, of course. Very nice, very nice. We'll run that shortly. Okay, there we go, we've got all the pieces we need for the final construction here. I'm also going to recycle this gas tank. Uh, as I'm going through the base, I'm sort of finding bits and pieces that I know we no longer need. Uh, uh, for example, uh, suit batteries. Those are, those are redundant, right? Don't need those anymore. Um, in fact, uh, we don't actually have to use that active vent. We can just use this one. I did print up another one, which I'm now regretting, because you can just use this. This will work just fine. 
Uh, we don't need to pull a vacuum in here anymore, after all. That's kind of, you know, that ship has sailed. Uh, speaking of which, let's, uh, let's add on all the pretty stuff here to make this look nice. Oh, I didn't actually, <laughs> I need one more for that wall, but well, we'll do that later. Okay, wall type 4. We'll put you over here. And over here, let's make it horizontal so it looks nice. I like type 4. I like the, the parting line in the middle. I think it looks really cool. Uh, we'll put that down. Yeah, I, I am actually one wall short, unfortunately, but oh well. And we can just go ahead and zinc this up. Now, you can make little corner pieces to, like, uh, fill in these edges, but I'm not too worried about that for right now. Uh, we got bigger fish to fry today because I need to talk about more comments. Yes, you guys left a lot of them, and thank you for doing so. Uh, some genu Again, some really, really cool suggestions in there, which I, I, I've already taken to heart. Um, the biggest one was, why do I filter, why am I using these um, stackers, the chutes, sorry, to, to, to store the items? Why not use something like a silo? And that's a really good idea. We should do that. Um, we can feed the ores into a stacker and then run that stacked up ore into a silo. I think that's a really, really good plan, and I'm going to do that. Uh, then, uh, someone suggested also that we look into a no logic... Uh, advanced furnace apparently it is doable and they gave me a really good breakdown uh, of a simple way they do it so thank you i think it's king of hell i think that was the commenter that left a lot of these suggestions so really really appreciating it i uh, thank you for being kind and polite and uh, uh educational rather than just condescending <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's a nice break from uh, a lot of the comments and factory game communities uh not gonna lie anyway let's go ahead and vacuum out this room now i think it's time i think we're ready uh, I want to pull out a lot of the pressure. We don't have to pull out all the pressure, but I do want to pull out a lot of the pressure. Uh, we have power... I mean, we have power, like, right here, right? Uh, where do I actually want to put this vent? This probably makes the most sense, because I can just power it right from there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do it right here. That'll be fine, and then we're just going to run pipes down into the passive vent over there. Okay, lovely. Let's splice this in. Yeah, but we'll stick a passive vent... Over here, and then we'll just uh, wire those bad boys up in a second. Let's also put the pipe meter on this so we can tell from outside when it's done. Then you'll see I've got a computer and a motherboard and all these things. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. You hold your horses now, okay? You're getting ahead of yourself. Uh, we're, we're getting there, but we're not there yet. Anything else I need in here? Not really. We just got to go get some more cabling. All right, well, let's, uh, let's seal in this room so that we can actually start vacuuming once we have the goods. And uh, once that's, while that's running, I'll go off and do other things, but uh, yeah, that's all I want to do right now. Uh, so I just need one, two more cables, and then of course we're going to want to do this. And then we're going to want to get a wrench, like so. Bend it like that, bend it like that, perfect. And then you're going to go right on here. Okay, and since I'm out here, I also printed up another one of these, finally, last episode. That was uh, really annoying. Okay, cool. So we know we're producing, uh, what, 1.8 kilowatts? It's trying to get 16. Uh, so maybe maybe we run the generator on some of this coal we've got lying around. Uh, there we go. There we go. We're producing what we're looking for. Oh, no, it's trying to pull megawatts, dude. Oh, wow, those batteries are hungry, huh? Hungry, hungry hippos. Um, and uh, we're consuming 1.5 kilowatts just on this line. Uh, but we are getting a lot of resources, which we're going to start processing very soon. Okay, cool. Let's uh, turn you on. In which direction are you pulling air through? Yep, you are pulling air into the space. Perfect. Okay, vacuum that all out. So when that gets down to like, I don't know, 20 kilopascals, we'll, uh, we'll make a date of it. Also, I think I want to be able to get up here. I think I'm going to put a bridge right over this, the storm warning. Uh, not a bridge, uh, a staircase right over here. Because we can get through without too much trouble, right? Yeah, let's do that. All right, then let's refill our tanks and have a quick snack. So that uh, we don't get all these god-awful warning lights all the time. Finish off this potato. And uh, let's have some corn for a change, huh? Have a little bit of corn. Turn that on. Eat ourselves some corn. And I'm pretty sure we've probably finished up our... Uh, our grow zones. If we need some more food, we can go get it. What does that give us? 56%? That's not much, is it? Uh, can you can you microwave wheat? No? How about a soybean? Ah, uh, you can. Microwave two units of soybean. Creating question mark. It's just going to delete it, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Uh, how about 
another potato. Just for old time's sake. Yeah, give me back my oxygen. And our waste tank should be sorted as well. Let's chow down. And uh, we've got plenty of plants in there which we need to go harvest, but uh, I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm too easily distracted. We've got to stay on target. I mean, this workshop alone is pulling like 1.2 kilowatts, man. We, need <laughs> we really need to improve our power generation. It's kind of pathetic. It's just like the doors, this power transmitter, like all of it's pretty hungry. I mean, that's all, thankfully. Uh, all right, I think we're probably good outside. Let's go have a look. Um, I probably should have set that up a bit differently so I could see the valve <laughs> from inside uh, without having to keep going outside and pressurizing. But let's have a quick look here. So what are we at right now? 25? That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, I'm going to pull up this for the resources. Let's get those back. I'll leave the pipe attached. That's 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 that can be a fun. If we ever need to vacuum this out or push some air in or something, that might be useful as a holdover. And in fact, I'll leave the cabling there for the same reason. Then. All right, we do have some stairs though. Let's slap these down. Uh, we could put them here, or we could just put them right here. That's what I'm thinking because I can just walk over it. Uh, can I jump to get over there? I can. Perfect. It's perfect. And then I can just get up here. Yes, yes. Uh, we could also do it here. In fact, yeah, I should just do that. What am I doing? This is this is stupid. It just it does cover up a lot of this junk, which I don't like. The I don't like the way this looks, and that does cover that up. We could move this up one. That's a whole lot of work to just for a bit of aesthetics. Ah, nah, nah. We got bigger. We got bigger problems. Uh, do you get different kinds of stairs? I just get railings. I see. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Let's let's put one up. Do it like that. There you go, you can cover up the solar panel. I mean, that's not doing much for us anyway. And now we can get up here. Okay, lovely. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I'm actually going to do my sorting on the roof. Uh, we've got all this real estate. We can use it. Alright, but that 35 kilopascals... Are Hold on! Why are you at 35 kilopascals? Is there a leak? It might be a leak. I don't think there's a leak. Well, let's put this thing back down and see what happens. Turn that on. Pressure's dropping. Pressure's dropping. Pressure outside is 47. I guess nominally it is decreasing. Hmm. That's all airtight, right? Yeah. I wonder where the... I wonder why it went back up. Okay, I'm going to give that another minute. Okay, I'm now printing up a ton of shoots. Uh, and I've also printed up some stackers and sorters. But we'll talk about those in a second. Uh, something that strikes me as strange is that I've never actually attached a, uh, a valve to this. Like, uh, as a pipe meter like we do for the other ones, which we can quickly just check the pressure and temperature. Um, let me quickly grab my iron. I think I'm going to need that. Uh, and let's try this. So we're going to need the gold and copper and iron to make a pipe analyzer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this one and this one. Close that. Turn that on. Give me, or first off, give me just like a regular water pipe, because all I've got is insulated pipes now. Let's get one of those going. All right, fantastic. And uh, let's just, actually, I need two. I need two. Perfect. Uh, and then we're going to go up here. Actually, I don't need two, because this won't actually consume a pipe. <laughs> oh, no, it does. It does. Never mind. I was, I was mistaken. All right, then give me a pipe analyzer, because I should be able to see the temperature and pressure, even if it isn't powered. Um, if this works the same way the other ones do. Oh man, Electrum? Oof, that's expensive. Well, if it doesn't work, we can just recycle it, right? Then we only lose one. Oop. There we go. And I should just be able to stick that on there, right? Uh, and no, regrettably, I do actually have to power this one, which is, uh... Ah, oh, that's a scam. There we go. Okay, it's a bit janky, but it did fit. Uh, let's turn that on, and now we can see. There we go. Temperature is 311 Kelvin. Okay, cool. And it's all water, and the pressure is actually fairly low. We need to get some more ice. All right, but the temperature is very high. 311 Kelvin is like, what, like 40 degrees? That is not ideal. Okay, more shoots, please. Now, getting some more ice is uh, next. the next priority. We, we can capture uh, water from the furnace. It's just always going to be quite warm. 
it's kind of crazy, right? Like, the, the think of the sheer range of possible temperatures something could be. And then think of how little uh, humanity could actually survive in. We're not very strong beings, are we? Okay, but what I'm going to do here is a little bit reckless. Uh, I'm going to pop the hood on this glass right here. Uh, and let's do that right now. It's going to secure away everything that's not tied down. Because uh, I want to start equalizing these rooms. And I actually want to tidy up in here. These machines are all over the place. I don't like the way it looks. Uh, this is going to kill me. So let's uh, let's ram it into this corner. This is going to smash into me with the force of a thousand gods. Oh, I feel like that could have been worse. Like it definitely could have been worse. Alright, nice. Uh, and then all I'm going to do to stop this for the moment is just do that. Okay, nice. So it's negative 82 in here. Uh, and we've got a temperature gradient going all the way up to negative 6. But I have a feeling that between that water tank and other things, we can heat this back up without any trouble. Ah, uh, yeah, the temperature is not dropping very quickly, is it? No, sir. Alright, but now what I want to do is move these machines, because we can finally get some space back in this workshop, and then I can reveal to you my grand plan. Uh, it probably starts with uh, clearing out all this junk, though. And these are actually still iron windows. Ah, talk about a relic. Very nice. Okay, we've made a mess. But soon, it will all be clean. Oh, so clean. And I'm thinking I'm going to put all the machines down this side. Yeah, that'll look great. Or actually, down this side. Then we can look out onto the view. Oh, we can have a view while we machine. Oh, I like the idea of that. Yeah. Also, this needs a wall. Oh, we're going to have so much room for activities. And also, we're going to need a lot more lights. And also, we're going to need a lot more power. And also, everything's going to have to move. And also, I hate it here. Uh, wait, maybe. Hold on. Wait, wait, maybe. Yeah, maybe we move the one, two. We, yeah, we can fit stuff along here. And that way, we can see our batteries. Kind of. Yeah, we can move the storage cabinet over there, at least. This one. Okay, there we go. We got a lot more space. All of the machines are working and upgraded again. Uh, we've stuck all the ores over here for now, but that's not going to be the long-term plan. I don't want to reveal it just yet, just in case we don't get to it this episode. But it's super cool. It's negative 5 in here, uh, and this is coming down very nicely. That is currently at about 30 degrees. Uh, that's exactly what we want. Um, it'll probably equalize probably around 11 or 12 degrees Celsius, which is fine. So we'll have to add a little bit more heat to the water, but there's not much much, much water left anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, then I'm going to take a full load of recycling with me. Uh, this is all junk that we no longer need. Uh, honestly, <laughs> some of these small batteries can probably get recycled at this point as well. Uh, we'll keep the pipes. Uh, electronic parts can get recycled. I don't really care. And then I'm just going to go through and uh, as we come in and out, we'll we'll take things over to this to, to get shredded. See how much stuff we're building up in here. It's crazy, man. I want to see what this thing gives us. That's what I'm really interested in here. Five gold, one copper, 2.5 steel. All right, so this is completely backed up. Um, and let's fix the solution for that first. Uh, you know what? Actually, before I do anything, because I know I'm going to get comments about this. Let's move this thing. We might as well. It's I mean, we are pretty shy on power, right? Uh, we might as well be a bit more efficient with what little we have. We'll just stick this over... Oh, well, my bad. Uh, we'll just stick this over here, and then splice it in right over here. Perfect. At least that's plugged in there, right? Uh, no one can complain. Uh, then, we are flat out of power, so we're going to run the generator for the last time. Hope well, not the last time, but one of the last times, hopefully. Uh, so these iron sheets can probably get recycled. Get them, get them sorted out. Uh, then... Uh, bring in the copper, the single gram there. Now nah, we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Right, I'm told that I should use the uh, SDB silo uh, in order to to uh, store up the dirty ore before we process it. And I'm, I'm willing to, to try this out. Let's go ahead and cook one of those up. Uh, and then I'm also told I, I'm probably going to need some hoppers, right, to move things in and out of it. Uh, let's see what this thing looks like first. And uh, while that's producing, I'll just do the old trick. I'm going to go over here... And uh, start talking about these things, our stackers. And also, let's bring some more recycling with us. Uh, it's time to get fully recycled. All right, one way we can very quickly increase the pressure in here, of course, is to use this thing. Uh, we actually have a whole bunch of warm oxygen over there we could use, but I've also got this, right? Let's just uh, crank out a little bit of this stuff. 
see how we're doing. And yeah, we'll drop this to like two megapascals. Like, oh, let's just get the room temperature or the room pressure back up to about, oh, I don't know, you say 80? It's probably a happy place to be. Hey, there we go. Okay, cool. Our silo is built. It's very large. It's very large. Uh, does this thing have inputs and outputs? It's got an output at the bottom. And I'm guessing, I can't see the top. <laughs> but I'm, I'm guessing it's got an output at the top as well. Oh, oh, an input at the top. Input at the top, output at the bottom. Okay, cool. Use a welding torch and steel sheets for upgrade. Okay, we're going to need some steel sheets. We're out. All right, this tank is pretty much empty now. Let's go ahead and just uh, let that completely vent out. Perfect. And uh, and we can, I think we use this one. Perfect. And we can scrap that. Let's have a look at this STB silo. 10 steel sheets, 10 plastic sheets, 5 cable coil. Okay, cool. Interesting. While it's uh, majestic has large quantity of almost anything, while it's doing that, it also cannot be deconstructed. Also, note that any food you put in the silo is likely to decay extremely rapidly. Silos can hold 600 stacks. That's crazy, man. That's crazy talk. All right, there's our 10 sheets, uh, plus a couple bonuses. Why not? It doesn't hurt. And then we need plastic sheets as well, which we are pretty low on, I think. I think we might have a few up here. Yep, five more. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our silo. And I think I'm going to put it over here. I think this is exactly where I... Oh my god, what are these angles? I think this is exactly where I want it. I want the ore coming in uh, from this side. That way, if we line up more drills in this direction or in this direction, we can just bring them in. This can be like the, the start point of the refining, right? And we'll line it up with the floor so that at least when it works, we, uh, <laughs> we have access to it. Uh, we can put down a proper frame for it a little bit later once we've got... You know, once we've got the stuff we need. Alright, so you, and then this. Perfect. And then some cable coil, right? To finish it off. Hey! SDB silo. Very cool. Alright, do you need power, sir? Yes, you do. And I see you get power on this side. Well, it just so happens we have a few cables running over there. And I'm going to need some more heavy-duty ones, I think, to do this properly. Okay, then, that brings me to the next point of order. In fact, let me go get some more heavy cable coil, and then we'll do what I'm thinking. While we wait for those cables to print up, I want to show you these things here. These are going to be our salvation. These are digital shoots, right? Uh, I've been using the flip-flop splitters, which are from these guys, the basic ones. Let me show you this. Uh, and so the premise is kind of the same. Okay, well, just this one's facing the other way. The way this one works is something comes in and every one thing will go that way, every other thing will go that way, but it does not, unfortunately, allow things to pass through it. This will, because what we can do is set a ratio. We can say that um, for every three items that go through here, send one item through here, and we do that by just changing this little knob. And the reason that's an issue is because we have all of our centrifuges on the same line, meaning that this one's going to get one, then everything down there is going to get one. That's that's not really how we want to do this, right? We want to have it so that each of them gets an equal split of every resource, right? So we want a one, two, so it'll be like one, 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 one. And the way we do that is using a digital valve, we can say for every three resources you send down here, send one. Then at the next junction, it's every two resources, send one. And then at this junction, we can just use the flip floppers as normal. So we actually only need two of these now that I think about it. Oh, well. Okay, hold on. This is... A lot of stuff's about to fly out of here. Okay, here goes nothing. Yep, yep, yep. There it all goes. We'll pick it all up in due time. Don't you worry. All right, so the way we want to set this up then with these in play is we're going to want to set one, two, three. So for every three that go through, one goes down. Turn that on. We haven't plugged it in yet. And then this one here will be every one, two that go down, you send one down here. Easy. That that should, I'm hoping, get it done, right? And then this, we can just use the manual splitters to save some power, because uh, they basically work like a valve if it's just one-to-one, -one, right? That's These these are a one-to-one -one split. This, is, uh, this allows you to change that ratio just a little bit. Also, this thing's too close. It needs to move. I need to move it up one at least. All right, I think we'll do it like this instead then. Uh, and now we're going to be changing how this works because it's going to come up through here and then come back out again yeah 
Hold on, which actually means that we need this to be we need this to be behind this. Oh no, hold on. Okay, so for right now, the silo is a little bit too much work. It's kind of outside the scope of what I want to do today. So we're just gonna put that over here with all of its construction parts, and we'll deal with that uh, when it's in the, when it's guaranteed, right, that it's gonna work. Uh, then we can recycle that tank. Thank you very much, Lee. Okay, very nice. All right, and now we gotta plug in these things, and I think I'm gonna have to dig up the foundations to do that. Okay, cool. Up on to our next objective. We are going to be, and we should see all these machines running now, and yes, they are. Ah, oh, it worked. It worked. Yes. Okay, but off to our next objective. We now need to start sorting the outputs of this machine. That is going to be the real crux for today. All this other stuff, that was a distraction. I, it took me like an hour and a half to get here, but here we are in the end, I suppose. Oh, I need to weld up this floor. Okay, cool. Another distraction. Give me a second. Okay, so we're going to set up this computer right over here, and then we're going to put this little motherboard in it. This is the sorter motherboard. Now, this is going to make a whole lot of sense in a second. Uh, we need to run this bad boy some power, and I think we'll just connect it up to that grid right over there. That should be fine. Or actually, you know what? We should link it up to this grid. Although, to be honest, I don't really want it only running when the furnace is running, so no. Although, it is all going to be part of the same network, right? Yeah, okay, let's run it back like this. And that should have spliced it in, but I think just to be sure, we'll give it another line over here. Voila. Okay, perfect. So we can turn on the computer. Uh, never mind, we can't turn on the computer until this is on as well. Alright, well let's get everything else set up then. So what this computer is going to allow us to do is program this thing. This thing right over here is called a sorter. It's a really simple machine, but it's got a really ingenious function. So we're going to stick ours... Oh, actually, let's see where, where does the chute go through the wall. Because I want to bring stuff through. We can do it. Can't do it there. We can only do it here. Alright, so we'll stick our sorter, our first one of many, 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 many sorters. Uh, we'll stick him... Um, sure. Over there seems good. Alright. So the way this machine works is you takes an input. In this case, it'll be whatever comes out of our furnace. We'll make this one a window, I think, so we can see what's go if anything's backed up. Alright, then we need to connect up these chutes. Uh, and I think, again, this one would be a good one to have as a... It'll be like a window... Window. And then we'll just do regular ones going forward. It's, these are so expensive. I don't want to... Windows uses double the normal ones. That's why I don't just make them all windows. Okay, perfect. So that's going to run through. And you know what? While I'm here, I kind of want to run this down. But only once we've cleaned out this pipe. Uh, so we can just walk through here. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this on now. And what's going to start happening, right? Is this thing's going to be uh, taking on fuel and then letting things through. Alright, it's going to take on outputs. And as you can see, yes... This is just going to spit everything out for the moment because we haven't set any filters on it. So what we're going to do, right, is we're going to switch over to devices. This one here is named Sorter. Let's go ahead and give it a new name. This is going to be our... Uh, let me give it a nice name. How about, like, um, or or Ingot Sorter? That's really what we're trying to work out here. Is there going to be an or coming through or an Ingot coming through? That's the determiner. Or Ingot Sorter. We're going to whitelist all Ingots. Uh, and I need to get closer for this. Uh, I wish this wasn't in this screen, but it is. Okay, we want to whitelist all ingots. So now, if we turn this bad boy on, what we should see is ores are going to pop out this side, ingots are going to pop out that side. Uh, and are you currently smelting something? Oh, there you go. There, go. there goes the silicon. It should pop out the left-hand side, and yes, it did. And there comes some reagent mix. A whole lot of reagent mix. All right, stop, stop leaving. Hey, 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 stop. So you can already see how this is going to become pretty powerful. I'm going to turn this thing off for the moment. So what we want to do now is start bringing all of our ingots up over onto the roof and into here. Then we're going to run them through a series of sorters, which are going to split them into the different kinds of ingots. Then we'll run them down to some stackers, and those stackers will be inside the base, and that's how we're going to be... We pull the lever, and boom, we get a stack of like 50 copper or silver or whatever it is that we want, right? Uh, it's going to be pretty damn cool uh, if it works. I have not tested this... This is all theory crafting at this point. Alright, but that computer is going to be moving with us because we're going to need to use it to program all the various sorters. But uh, this guy, this guy can get moving. Let's run a big old chute all the way over there. Okay, cool. We have arrived. That is a very long chute run. Uh, I don't want to open that, turn that thing on for a while because it's all just going to push it out over here, which isn't great. Uh, so now we need to set up our sorters. So we're going to want to bring them stuff in. 
and basically what we're sorting for here is everything comes in and uh, if it's iron then it goes out the right for example uh, if it's copper it's going to continue down the daisy chain so let's put this over i think we'll do the first one or well, where do we want our stackers to start probably over here we're gonna need all this space for it so we might as well start right over here that'll be our first one and we're gonna bring the stuff in and this is going to be for iron Oh, I can't wait for this to work. It's going to look so cool. So the plan then is we're going to put these stackers, which uh, will take the random amounts of iron. Because, you know, it'll come through in ones and twos and sixes and tens. And it will stack it all up till we get stacks of 50. We'll just pull a little lever and it'll plop it out on the floor. We can throw it in the machine. And then we'll have a little shoot bin here where we can throw the ingots back into the system so they get reprocessed. Or at least that's the dream, right? Uh, now, it's the, you know, the ultimate fantasy is that you have one of those gigantic silos for each one, and we can, we can upgrade this system later to, uh, to allow for that. But for now, uh, we're going to keep it fairly inexpensive, but functional. So basically, the idea here is that the iron will come out the right-hand chute, I believe, is that correct? Goes in the, no, sorry, the iron will come out the, yeah, the right-hand chute, which is this one over here. It'll come down into the stacker, we'll have like, you know, a seven or eight length line, and that will be the, the backlog, and it'll all be great. We probably do want an overflow valve, where um, excess can just sort of be thrown out, uh, and maybe sort of just like, we'll dump it into like a bin somewhere, but I, I, you know, I think that's fine for now. And we're out of iron, okay, cool. So we've got another 17 shoots to work with. I'll tell you right now, the first thing I'm gonna do is sort out that walkway. Okay, there we go. That's going to make that a lot more traversable. And now we have the space to move through here a bit more freely. I do appreciate that quite a bit. Uh, this thing's just turning itself off and on again. Don't even worry about that. That's just kind of what he does for fun at this point. Um, I want to recycle some of this junk. We don't need this thing. I can go... Oh, that didn't make it. Uh, and we can stack up our pipes. Okay, let's turn this off, right? Because we've now got... Oh, there's some more iron. Lovely. I'll hold on to that. Oh, a little even more iron. Excellent, we'll be using that shortly. And let's go ahead and set this up. So now the, the route is complete. What we need to do, ideally, is grab one of our stackers so that we can start working on that too, once it's time. Okay, hopefully that's gonna be enough iron to keep us moving here. So the left-hand side will bring out our ore. We're gonna bring it down like this, and then I think we'll bring it out one, and then it's going to pivot down and go into the base. And this will be our iron chute, just for, you know, for no reason other than that it's the first one. Uh, and we should name the machine as such that we can uh, use the computer to enable them, or to, to, you know, uh, to distinguish them easily. So this will be our iron ingot sorter. And I'm actually just going to copy that. And now we've got to place down five more of these. Alright, so importantly, all of these have to be turned on first because we're going to need to... Uh, run uh, the shoots past it. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get to the switches after that. So the way this is going to work is uh, a little jank, but I hope it I hope it pans out. So this is my thinking: is we run, so the output then gets run back. And uh, now, of course, we do have one problem, right? Which is that uh, we should actually do iron last. I'm thinking about this now, and I'm realizing we should actually do iron last because we want that to have the most room to back up, right? Uh, no, we are just going to have to have an overflow valve, I think. Because, like, iron's going to back up first because we're going to get the most of it. Um, so we will eventually have to upgrade the system to be a silo system. Yeah, this isn't going to work for much longer otherwise. Alright, and we're going to need a hell of a lot more shoots. Alright, so my idea... Let me sort of give you, show you what I'm talking about. So our stackers will go sort of over there. And this will come down. And in fact, I can start plugging this one in so we can see it. And in fact, I think I think everything after this point is going to have to be windows so we can see what's backed up and how much is backed up. All right, perfect. And then what we do is we go ahead and set these machines up as such. So this one we'll call, for example, if this is like silver, we'll call this the silver stack. I know I called that iron, but I think we're going to have to change this. Uh, and then we say we want a stack of 50. And what'll happen is it'll feed in the little trickle of silver, the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, until eventually it hits 50. Uh, and then we can just pull this lever and, oh, sorry. We just pull this lever and bada boom, we get a stack. So what's the spacing gonna be on this? So the next one would be like here. Yeah, that looks right. And then the next one would be here. So it's, it's a two unit space between. I think that's perfect. 
Okay, we are now armed with close on, uh, what is that, 90 shoots? Uh, no, 84 shoots. 84 shoots has got to get the job done, or else I retire. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not just uh, sorting the ingots at the source, and then running them all the way over here, it's the same on shoots, to be honest. Um, it would be better, oh my god, it would be better to say, to do the ingots at the source, and then, um, you know, filter them down there, and then run them each their own line out here. It's just going to be so much more expensive. Uh, but this is the first setup. We will eventually, I think, the plan is going to be to uh, replace each of these with a silo. Um, uh, oh, wait, no, sorry. We'd have to move each of these back, stick a silo in between them and the rest, and that way we won't have to worry too much about backing up um, on our infinite resources. Like, if we back up on infinite resources there and lose a few, uh, it's not that much of a problem. Okay, so the way I'm doing it here is that we're going to sort out each of these. We're going to sort a different ore into each one, and then if I man if I happen to miss something, something ends up down the line, maybe like some steel or something, it'll get uh, thrown into this stacker here. And that's like the, the everything else pile for now. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get these set up. We're going to have to move the computer over, uh, and then we can start running things down here um, in a moment. I think I'm going to turn you off for a minute. That's a lot of coal. Again, I, I'm pretty sure these machines produce enough coal to actually run themselves, which is that's kind of nifty, right? Okay, now we need to label each of these. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is, I'll keep this one as, as iron. I'm just going to copy the name. And then we'll move it down the line. Then we'll do iron, then we'll do copper. Right? Uh, and then we'll do, this one can be gold. Gold is going to be, gold's going to be important. Uh, this is going to be... I mean, not that we need it, but this is going to be nickel. Uh-huh. Is that how you spell nickel? I'm not sure. This is going to be silver. And we'll have lead at the end. And and the nifty thing about this, I guess, is the fact that they're already smelted means that if we run them through a smelter again, they just smelt a lot faster, right? It's not, it's not critical. Uh, okay. Let's turn you on. And I've got some sorting to do. So nickel ingot sorter. We're going to add one here, and then we're going to specifically find nickel ingots. Oh man, what, why not just have like a separate display for this? Oh my god, it's literally all the way at the bottom for each one. Oh no. Okay, that's one. Lead ingot sorter. Oh, you're going to make me start at the beginning. Wait, I can do this? <gasps> okay, oh, my finger. The RSI, I can see it fading. Oh, it's just going to glitch out there, so I'm going to have to scroll. Oh, joy. Oh, wait, hold on. I bought the gamer mouse for this purpose. Oh. Oh, thank God for you, LG. Okay, cool. They're all sorted. Perfect. So now we could, we should be able to wire the thing up. And that should all function. Oh, God, I hope. I haven't set up these stackers just yet, so let me go do that first. And then we'll plug this thing in and, and see if we're good. I, I should also really set up a thing that feeds... Uh, ores I don't need anymore back into the network, right? So we'll set up like uh, a little shoot bin up here. And I can go up one more. And in fact, you know what? This can also be windows here. Uh, not just for aesthetic consistency, but also for uh, a bit of uh, debugging purposes. That way we'll know... Oh man, I, I've, not, I've not unlocked my mouse wheel. Uh, we'll then know which... Um, when the line behind there is completely backed up, if we throw stuff in here. Give me a little inlet. And uh, we should actually do it down there. Yeah. Alright, then we can throw any extra ingots I have lying around into that, and it should sort them. So, for example, if I throw this... Oh, it's just going to pop out the top. It's not plugged into anything. I was going to say, if I throw the copper in there, it should work. But no, it won't. Alright, let's give these things their names and labels. And, of course, then, as we go further down the uh, automation tree, we can put all of our alloys and things on the same... Uh, system, right? We can just extend this further down, and we should have access to everybody. This is just this is just a little bit. This is an experiment, right? I've never done this before, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works. Now, one thing I think might be a problem is that I'm pretty sure these things just put stuff out as soon as they've reached the right stack. So in order to stop this just continuously spitting, either we need to turn it off and on again, or we give it a little valve in front. And I think it's called the bin. I think that's the one I'm looking for. Okay, this is my hideous and inelegant solution. The, the shoots will now come up like this, and then we just pop a valve when we actually want one. And that actually technically gives us um, one, two, three, four, five, or oh, uh, four, fifty stacks in in the backlog as well. Which is, yeah, it'll help, help with the mass storage a little bit. Okay, lovely. 
Uh, I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and uh, plug this all in. Um, it's actually, we're going to just pick up the return segment. And i tell you why. It's because uh, we don't have enough valves. <laughs> we don't have enough shoots to actually finish this. Um, uh, I'll leave it that one. Critical. Okay, cool. Um, there we go. We just want a little inlet right over there. And you just throw stuff in. It's perfect. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, we can just do some of this. Plop. And then uh, slurp. Ah, I guess you're full. Yep, it's full. Alright, we're gonna have to clear out all of this real quick. And I just push it. Yeah, I can just push it. And we can turn this machine back on and see if it's working. Gotta, just gotta push it. Just gotta, just gotta move it out the way. There we go. I need, a, I need like a, and a fan or something. He's only wear a couple grams each after all, at least uh, according to lore. Oh my god, it's time. Okay. Turn it on. We're allowing things through. Let's drop this back in there. Alright, it's clearly giving priority to the front, that's fine. Alright, and it's sending things down the line, I'm hoping. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay, we're getting congered. That one's going that way. Whatever's coming through is... Oh, we'll get silicon. Yes, 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 this will be silicon. I forgot about silicon. I didn't even account for it. Okay, nice, dude. Nice. Alright, stuff's still getting sent down. And you're smelting up something else. Okay, cool. Let's let's try and improve this even further. And so we should see that we have stack after stack after stack of uh, really cool stuff through here. And maybe we should actually not stack to 50, but instead stack to 500. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's gonna, I mean, that literally improves our storage tenfold, right? Yeah, I think that we're gonna have to do that. Yeah, because that way we literally store like 10 times as much stuff uh, in this little segment as we would otherwise. Yeah, this is the bit, this is the smart move. And then honestly, we should move the stacker outside, right? So that we have even more storage inside. Uh, but that's... <laughs> oh, oh boy. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that, I promise. Alright, we got some stacks of 50 here. Um, you should not be allowing stuff through. Why are you allowing stuff through? Oh, well, you know what? I'll take it. There we go. We got our stacks of iron. Sure. But uh, that really shouldn't be letting stuff through it. I don't know why that's working. Uh, keep making me more shoots. Believe it or not, we're not done. I know I said I'd quit, but honestly, I I'm getting there. Okay, here is our feedback line. Let's go ahead and get this sorted out. I wanted this thing, I don't even know how long this video is going to be, so at this point, we're just finishing it all. Okay, cool, there's the junction. So everything is now filtering down, right? And I'm trying to stack up to stacks of 500, which uh, this thing cannot, absolutely do not, does not have enough of just yet, but that's okay, we're, we're getting there. Okay, next step, I think, is probably going to be to move the computer back here, and program another sorter here that's going to filter out coal. That coal is then going to be uh, rooted all the way back over uh, to here. Where we're going to uh, feed it straight into this machine. And then I'll set up some logic that only turns on the generator uh, when the batteries are below a certain point. Uh, at least that's the dream, right? And that way we can uh, we can just burn off the excess coal. And as for the uranium and cobalt and stuff, I mean, I don't really care about it too much just yet. I am still collecting it for the moment, but we have a lot. Like, we have quite a lot. I mean, uh, 84 uranium's a lot of uranium, man. You don't even need that much for the advanced alloys, as far as I understand it. So, uh, yeah, that's great. Oh, look there, we've got a, a little bit of copper. Let's throw that in. Lovely. Uh, and then what I want to do now, actually, is test if this is functional. So, let's go through, pull out all of the ingots from our machines, and then feed them back into our setup. Uh, if those valves aren't working, I might need to use a, uh, a different setup. Because it seems to be just outputting through them. That's probably a bug uh, rather than a feature. Because I'm pretty sure this should prevent them from allowing throughput. It's currently closed. Wait, valve is... Yeah, valve is now closed. Yes, that's right. All right, cool. So we've currently got 125 iron in there. Let's pop this out. Right, and let's see if this adds to any of their, uh, their woes. So we don't want to put the steel through. Steel's not allowed to go into the system. Silver is... Let's go ahead and throw in the silver, and then what we want to do is find the silver one, which is... I really do need to get screens for this. Uh, that is nickel, 
That is silver. So let, we should see this increase now by that same amount. God, I hope so. Yes, and it has. Okay, excellent. That's exactly how I want to store things. And this one's got the silicon, right? Yeah. We have got less than I expected, to be honest. Oh, that's because it's all over there. But yeah, our steel and our alloys and stuff, that is not allowed into this network just yet. Because it's going to clog up everything else. Let's throw away the lead, throw away the nickel, and throw away the iron. Okay, so there's our iron. So now what I should be able to do is just do this. And voila, it pops out. So the valve isn't doing anything, uh, which is a problem. Oh, now also the stacker won't... Huh? Yeah, this is definitely not working as intended. Let's uh, Let's try this. Oh, and this should be allowing me to go back down. Okay, so the stacker's currently got 178 iron. So if I open this... It's just... So the valve's doing nothing. Alright, clearly this thing's bugged. Uh, I think I'm going to just take that off. Because it can just pop out of the valve. Let's try without it and see if this works. Uh, it might just, if we're lucky. But I, I am beginning to think this is bugged, maybe. Okay, cool. So that's going to come out, and then I open this, and then I open this. Hey, there we go. Now it's working. Okay, cool. Maybe we just want, like, a, a little quarter on the end then, rather? Okay, I'm very happy with this system, but I am also very tired. <laughs> this recording has run more than two hours long, so we're going to stop here. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. If you've enjoyed the video, then do give it a like. If you would like to see more Station Heroes content like this, then uh, share it with your friends and leave some comments down below for the algorithm. Uh, I can only make this content as long as it is viable, so if you'd like to see more, well, you know what to do. Thank you so much, everybody, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for this month. Couch Potato, The Senate, Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82 Riley David, LCG Canyon Sahar, Knee Cruncher, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Not K Arthur, Cut Beef Go Ham, Jack Smallman, Rivo, Adachi, I'm Alpha, King, Alan Osella Chair, Sella Hair, Gragnar Skull Crew, Raija, Rob, Depoyo44, Pratham Barush, Sleep Deprived Sam, Badass Beast, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Mo Romans, Officer C4, Ooh, Yan the Pan, Cairo, Kili Thaza, Eve Roxanne, Kodiak, Dimitri Liako, CCMD, Wedgie FRG, Lunar Shots, Darky, Hedrick Ebert, Black Omega 9, The Emperor, Dennis Feros, Big Bird 18th, Josh Thompson, Chad Farista, Mermix 42, and Millennium Dawn. You guys all rock.